The fearless Tyrannosaurid of Doom, the earliest member of Tyrannosaurid and one of the smallest members of its kind. This is the Moros Intrepidus. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host Tall, and today we're going to be covering an episode all about the Morris Intrepidus. I want to remind you guys quickly though to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single quick dive we do on this channel because we are covering every single dinosaur and prehistoric creature in Jurassic World and the Jurassic World franchise, Jurassic Park, everything you want to know, especially the creatures in Jurassic World Dominion. As well, I want to implore you on becoming a member to our channel. It costs a little bit of money, but you unlock cool emojis and icons that you can use when interacting with our channel. Leave us a dino size thumbs up, comment down below a prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. With that being said, let's jump right into a quick dive on our tiny Tyrannosaurid, the Morris Intrepidus. So what does Morris Intrepidus mean? Moros in Greek is a word that means embodiment or concrete representation of impending doom. Intrepidus is Latin for fearless, bold, or adventurous. While the Morris Intrepidus was pretty much the harbinger of doom, like an omen that apex predators would soon roam through the earth. <coughs> T-Rex. <coughs> T-Rex. Morris Intrepidus was pretty much the first Tyrannosaurid, and it spread Tyrannosauruses all over North America. So where and when did Morris Intrepidus actually live? Well, Morris Intrepidus lived in North America, in what is now Utah, during the late Cretaceous period around 96.4 million years ago. The first fossils of Morris Intrepidus was found in 2013 at the Cedar Mountain Formation in eastern Utah. This is a relatively new dinosaur. Researchers say that the fossils were 15 million years older than any others belonging to the Tyrannosaurid family that have been found in North America. And it wasn't until 2019 that the Morris Intrepidus became a recognized species. When it was named and described by a team of paleontologists led by Lindsay Zano in the journal Communications Biology. So what did this creature look like? Well, unfortunately, everything that we know right now about the Morris Intrepidus came from a study on limited fossil specimens, some partial leg and foot bones and some teeth. Morris Intrepidus was a small carnivorous theropod. It was bipedal, meaning it walked on two legs. It was estimated to be around three or four feet or more or less a meter tall at the hip and weighed around 172 pounds or 78 kilograms and had sharp teeth that didn't have serrations unlike other predators the foot bones of morris intrepidus were extremely slender and found to be more similar to ornithomimids than to other late cretaceous tyrannosaurids in the journal zano described this ancient tyrannosaur as being small with slender hind limbs lightweight and exceptionally fast highly adapted to running morris intrepidus most closely resembled tyrannosaurs that lived in asia in the early Cretaceous. Paleontologists suggest that the ancestors of this dinosaur crossed the Alaskan land bridge from Asia to North America as a part of an exchange between the two continents. So a small fast running tyrannosaur, cute but terrifying at the same time. You don't want to underestimate this creature, especially if you see it running around Jurassic World. Now did the Morris Intrepidus ever get famous? Well, a quick search online did not really show any reference of this dinosaur in popular culture, being that it was just discovered. Other than its inclusion in the Jurassic universe, we don't really know much about it. And yes, of course, the Morris Intrepidus will be a part of the Jurassic universe, and it is one of the new species that will be making its debut in Jurassic World Dominion. We first learned about this dinosaur in Jurassic World Dominion's prologue. It was uploaded to YouTube in 2021, and there we saw a feathered Morris Intrepidus picking the teeth of the Giganotosaurus. How cool is that? The fact that we got that for free on the internet a year before the movie came out. Oh, and it had feathers. Well, not really sure that there's enough evidence to prove that it actually had feathers, but scientists suggest that most theropods, especially the clade that Tyrannosaurus belonged to, might have had feathers at some point in their life. So yeah, it's a big probability that they probably had feathers. Anyway, according to Jurassic World Dominion's director, Colin Trevorrow, the prologue was supposed to be in the first five minutes of the movie. However, he decided to cut it from the final film. The footage was then released on online to promote the main film. So are we really going to see this creature in the movie? Well, a December 2021 article from Empire Magazine confirmed that Morris Intrepidus played a part in the movie. So we'll see. Really looking forward to seeing this tiny creature on screen. And of course, if you're watching this video, it probably means that Jurassic World Dominion is already out, but we're trying to avoid spoilers as a whole on this channel. So no worries, you can proceed with this episode. We were not going to give you any information on what happened to this Morris Intrepidus in Dominion, but just be prepared because apparently it does have a role to play in the movie. So let's see what happens. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's move on to the diet and behavior of the Morris Intrepidus. Like most theropods, this was a carnivore or a meat eater eating lizards and smaller dinosaurs. Scientists also suggest that the small, scrappy predator probably hunted alongside much larger meat-eating dinosaurs, like Allosaurus. 
This tiny tyrannosaur was probably a good hunter too, since it was lightweight and fast. It could easily have run down prey while avoiding confrontation with the biggest predators of that time. And that, my friends, is the Morris Intrepidus, a dinosaur without a lot of information, so we try to make this episode as entertaining as possible for you. I hope you guys appreciate it. And of course, if you do, you can join our channel by becoming a member. We would really appreciate it and it would go a long way to supporting us. You'll also unlock cool icons and emojis when you become a member on the dinosaur channel that you can use when interacting with us. If that doesn't suit your fancy, you can just send us a donation on PayPal. And of course, I want to remind you guys to subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video we do here on the Dinosaur Channel because we're covering quick dives on every single creature in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise, especially every animal in Jurassic World Dominion. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.